1978, there were three day long celebrations of film school in Łódź. Because of that, a special newspaper was produced. In that special newspaper, there was one article written by myself with the title Cinema Searching for God. I'd like to return now to this text and see how much of what I wrote has any sense whatsoever and how much uh, that very subject can be approached from the perspective of all those experiences and years that passed since then. Welcome to the next episode of Thinking Camera. My text from way back, aside from being genuinely nuts, is unruly, too baroque, too wobbly and too jumpy. Yet it has things that, as it turns out, have stayed with me for years. It starts with the premise that its headstrong remarks aim at ethics, not aesthetics. To me it was clear that meditating about God was ultimately more about ethics than aesthetics. It's as if everybody should know the Plato's relation between truth, goodness and beauty. Plato, who all the rest of philosophy is a footnote upon, Plato said that the key lay in the concepts the good, the true, and the beautiful. The beautiful, what is it? Easy to discern. The beautiful is easy to discern. You are going to be condemned to live out the consequences of your taste. Really, really. And if you have no taste, you know, God help you. Because you, you are self-condemned to an appalling nightmare. The next fragment of my writing offered my understanding of what God could mean. It said, God is treated here as the highest extension of man, as a sign, a rule, a symbol, and logic, and value. And finally, as the expression of the least material, but the strongest human energy. Oh, wow. That's a pretty easy way out of the issue, isn't it? On the other hand, it seems that the most learned theologians and mystics don't really have much more to say. So I don't feel too bad about being so vague. Then the text presents the basis for the premise of the entire argument. It says, the creative process is the organization of space, time, the material and the psychological. Organization assumes hierarchy. A true hierarchy is based on necessity Farther on, I elaborated that if a film director seeks the best way to stage a scene, and if that best way indeed exists, then it stands to reason that things are organized, structured, and have a hierarchy. Objective hierarchy assumes degradation, and the top of the gradation points toward the highest, the most perfect, the most harmonious. We are a small step away from a cathedral here. Preparing my 2017 documentary about Professor Marek Siemek, I was told that there were maybe 20 people on the planet who knew how to think, and Siemek was one of them. He was an exceptional charismatic philosopher, an eminent scholar in German transcendental idealism who taught that very discipline to the Germans. So even though at the beginning I spoke of the primate of ethics over aesthetics, here it turns out that aesthetic sense is rooted in our yearning and searching for the divine. Then I went to write that the best technical ways of doing things on screen are statistically also supported by reaction from the viewers, from the consumer. I wrote, what is a connection between film tools and the world of idols? Film arises from previous forms of art. That's why 
I see the axiology of film in the context of the tradition and progression of culture. The inclusion in the World Museum of the Undisputed Masterpieces doesn't raise controversies large enough to invalidate the universals captured in the collective items. Oof, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I meant to say that since the artistic achievements of mankind are usually indisputable, it's possible that they point to an upward moving direction toward beauty, goodness and truth. I brought up the examples of Shakespeare, Milton, Bernini, Rembrandt and Picasso. By the way, Picasso is my favorite artist ever. I meant that the individual artistic process is validated by the communal and historical sensitivity, that the narrative, if done in the best possible way, gets us, the craft people and the consumers, closer to some sort of unity with that which cannot really be spoken about. That kind of uh, reverberates with uh, the exercises I was conducting, uh, teaching my film directing classes and particularly mastering the master shot. But we'll talk about this some other time. Next in the text came to a nod to the film school teachers. Our connection with God is a majestic teacher. If we hear the words, this is the way, this will be better, and if indeed it's better, then through the darkness of ignorance appear joyful faces of Thomas Aquinas, Teilhard de Chardin, Hegel. The Hegel reference was a cocky attempt to be controversial. At that time, and in many cases now as well, Hegel was and is quite unjustly linked to communism, fueled by the Marx theory. I have had a long life struggle with people who while close to me, flirted with the dreaded M word. Ty się denerwujesz na przykład, że ja wymieniam czasami Marksie. A dla mnie to jest sprawa prosta bardzo. Jest to jeden z kierunek myśli i uniwersalizm mógł się zrodzić także i musiał się zrodzić i z chrześcijaństwa, i z marksizmu, i z fenomenologii, z różnych innych kierunków. Twoja, że tak powiem, tutaj reakcja jest po prostu śmieszna. Tak, to ja mam swój własny rozum. Ale ten twój własny rozum jest w tym przypadku niestety za mały. I was listening to your presentation and as I was mentioning to you earlier, I had all those emotions going uh, through me. Uh, one, because uh, you bring up Marxism and I know that you are doing this, uh, dissociating yourself from the bad Marx. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, th yeah. th there is a... Yeah conflict between the reason and emotions you talk to somebody like me and I represent you know millions of people who were yeah. really oppressed by misunderstood Marxism but the right, emotions right. of that are so deep yes yes and then an intellectual comes and the intellectual says from an intellectual point of view he meant well so how can people forget the emotions you know, and go with the right understanding by reason only. Well, I don't think they can forget them. I think they have to learn to understand how they were generated. The question of how much a well-meaning theory can be disassociated from its criminal application by cynical political madmen is a huge subject that will pop in and out of my future work. Marek Siemek, jako wykładowca w latach 70. już w latach 80. no miało ogromne wzięcie. Na seminaria jego na wykłady przychodzili studenci, asystenci, nie tylko z filozofii. Zacząłem chodzić, mimo tego, że już byłem przecież po studiach, e, przygotowywałem doktorat, zacząłem chodzić na seminarium Marka. No i tam się czytało Hegla, Marksa, Kanta, neomarksistów, przedstawicieli szkoły frankfurckiej. No i było to bardzo ciekawe i formujące seminarium dla całego no niemalże pokolenia. If a thought that the proper application, strictness of film tools leads to transcendence or the ultimate rule or whatever name one can apply to one's own ontological anxiety, if that thought is sensible, then embedding reality with God's presence becomes possible and even real. Wow, that's really a tall order statement. 
if I understand myself from back then, it proposes or intimates at least that our work can make or break the fabric of here and now, that our filmmaking decisions are not indifferent to the way reality around us composes itself. From that, there is only one small step to saying that, despite what most accomplished practitioners say, film can change the world. Or put it differently, our lack of effort, our letting go adds to chaos, cheapness, lack of self-respect, and that all destroys the world. As Stanley Kublik said, Either you care or you don't. There's no in-between. And if you care, then go all of the way. Similarly, a Polish filmmaker, Joanna Dylewska, put it once in a phrase that struck me deeply. She said, a bad take is like a spit into eternity. Maybe that's why I agonize so much over editing, where a few frames this way or a few frames that way becomes a day-long struggle. With these challenging thoughts, let's go about our respected businesses out there until we meet next time to further explore the subject of film, searching for God. Mm -hmm.